Chemie 72 is a design and build experience. It's beyond the technical details of what they conquer in this competition and every bit as much about discipline, team building, challenges, personal, technical, and otherwise. And then what you see today is a, hopefully a polished product. Our team is the Mechromancers. We've been practicing flying and capturing balls probably around three or four weeks now. Our team name is Las Aguilas Azules. We have a two propeller system and we have a cage made out of carbon fiber and balsa wood. We're just focused on trying to build a third blimp and trying to practice how to control the blimps. Our team name is Moab, mother of all blimps. We've been spending a lot of time putting together free blimps to capture and score balls. I am with Team Boom. We have three blimps. Two of them are going to be capturing balls and then our third blimp will honestly just be causing chaos. Our team is named Led Zeppelin. Since like the fifth grade, I've wanted to do mechanical engineering. So that's what you see all around me are these blimps that we made out of uh, different materials like mylar and other things of that nature. The ME72 competition for... The official name is uh, Blimp Ball, I believe, something like that. This year, actually, I don't know what it is. Um, what is the name of the competition? Airship Quad Ball. Let's go in the gym and check it out. It might look like people are flying balloons around to score goals and win a game. But what it has taken to reach this point is everything from gas dynamics, electronics, your batteries, your wires, your harnesses, your structure. And so that design challenge is what the students faced. The biggest thing I've learned is how to look at the big picture and assigning tasks to that. Because one thing now affects something you know, a month from now, so that at the end, we reach this final design that we want to reach. Well, I really like the hands-on experience of this class. The main challenge was designing and creating like the physical product, but then the electrical part made me realize that I like designing electrical systems, I think. I'm very proud of the many different iterations that we've been through, all of the different parts and components that we've worked my biggest hope is that nothing actually breaks, first of all. What is unique and extraordinary with Caltech students is that they have learned the foundational elements in their prior courses, but I can count on the imagination, the will, the determination, and yes, even though they might not admit it, there is clearly a competitive spirit behind the scenes. It was a lot harder than we thought to actually design these, so I think we're all kind of bonded in a way, even though we're technically against each other. I still want to see everyone succeed. What I want to see is every one of them in the game, and that means they've achieved something today. They've brought a product to full cycle when that thing is flying successfully today in that arena.